and welcome back to marriage or hell nah fellas happy tuesday to you guys man and i got a good story for us as we continue our story time theme as always shout out to my day one subscribers as well as those who are hitting the like button so that way we can push this content out because you know youtube hates us growing but we steadily are and i really appreciate all the love now fellas in this story time today it's gonna get crazy just imagine the picture that you are seeing on the screen you chose to make a woman your wife you thought you was gonna have a happy life with her but you see one of these gentlemen here in the background imagine if they were your groomsmen and your wife decided to sleep with one of them without further ado let's get into this crazy story time wife of 10 months has cheated on me my wife 25 year old female and i 25 year old male have been married since may of 2021 our love was always perfect or so i thought everyone would always comment on how our relationship was so healthy and fairy tale like i thought we would be with each other forever two weeks ago she brought up that she was thinking about leaving me for her co-worker which was also a groomsman in our wedding so fellas you guys can already see where we're going with this story it's about to be wicked because they have been talking and hanging out she told him that she had a crush on him and he returned the feelings that's a shady dude right there she told me she was willing to try and work on our relationship. I gave up all of my hobbies and focused solely on her, which is always a big mistake. Fellas, you guys already know this. Once you try to fix the situation or try to make it work and you're really putting your all into her, it's funny how that never goes according to plan. I took her to an art museum for a date, surprised her with flowers and snacks at work. Took her out on a date to Applebee's. She loves the fancy like song. Now where you guys live, Applebee's may not be a big thing, but more than likely they're probably in rural America where they don't have a lot of options. We walked down the business district of our town and went to antique shops and chocolate shops. But during all of these dates, she was texting the other guy the whole time. Two days ago, I found messages between them where she was saying stuff like, you're cute. I could tuck you in. And good night, I will see you in my dreams. I freaked out and left the house and went for a drive. So you can see he just needed to clear his head because he had put in all that time to reinforce the feelings that he had for her, to show her that she was special. And what did she do? stomped right there on his heart she texted me asking me if we could talk when i got home she told me she doesn't feel like it is working and wanted to separate not get a divorce but she wanted to be single for a while there ain't no way in hell boy kick her ass out the door right then and there fellas down there in the comments let me know how you guys would have handled this but i already know the marriage of hell on our team they would have kicked her ass to the curb as well Never give a woman the benefit of being separated, allowing her to be a 304 and not removing her from your life legally. I asked her what she has done with the other guy. She told me that she had kissed him, but that was it. I was heartbroken and this whole time, I didn't tell anyone about the issues. She pushed me to tell my friend and to stay, oh shit. She pushed me to tell my friend and to stay at his house that night. You know why? So she could be out there doing the do. When I got home the next day, she wasn't there. Exactly. I texted her asking where she was and she said that she was out eating, but would be home in about an hour and a half. I immediately knew why. This coworker lives 40 minutes away. 
When she got home, I asked her where she went to eat and she said a restaurant that was in his town. I asked who she ate with. She admitted that it was him. So I asked if she stayed the night at home. She said, no, she stayed at his house. So now she's just coming clean, which means more than likely she does not care. I asked where in his house did she sleep? And she said in his bed and that they had slept together. I'm in so much pain. All I want is for her to hold me and tell me everything is going to be all right, but she is the one causing me all of this pain. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my plans had her in them. So gentlemen, you could see where he done fucked up at, especially with that last part. All I want her to do is to hold me and tell me everything is going to be all right. When you reduce yourself to being a less deserving man, this is exactly what's going to happen to you. And this is the reason why I tell you guys these stories, because you wouldn't believe the type of foolishness that men put up with out here. But it's important that we learn these lessons so that way guys can know up front not to put up with any type of foolishness. But as you guys already know, let's get into some of these comments and see what other people got to say chiming into the situation. If this guy wasn't a friend of yours, why is he a groomsman in your wedding? Sorry, brother, but you guys should be in the honeymoon stage. If she's screwing another guy, put her back on the streets. You're better than this. Exactly. Now, the point I want to chime in about is definitely with the groomsmen. Believe it or not, you got a lot of shady guys out here that would do stuff like this. I try not to associate myself with these type of people, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think on this. Is it on the guy or is it on her? I definitely think it's on her, but still, that's a groomsman in your wedding. He's supposed to be your friend or did she choose the groomsman herself? That's the very interesting part. But either way, but either way, I might have put hands and feet on him, just being honest. Another person chimes in, it's over, dude. She failed the wife test. Pack your stuff up and leave or be a chump with no self-respect and stay in a toxic environment. Your call. I know what the hell I would do. I get the hell out of there. Another person chimes in, she doesn't want to be with you, but she wants to keep you as a backup in case things don't work out with the new guy. Get out now. So as you can see, beta male principles never get rewarded. If you don't, you will feel like a warden trying to control her so she doesn't cheat, which will ruin your relationship anyway. You deserve better. I suggest finding a good therapist, religious figure, or professional, like a social worker, etc. To talk through your feelings, good luck, my friend. And the last person chimes in this be thankful you guys don't have any kids involved yet and just see if you can get a divorce on annulment if possible tell her that she can go be a 304 all she wants after the divorce and expose her to her family your friends and to her workplace i definitely agree with that bro you definitely got to get the hell out of there time to get a divorce but also reinforcing the message Talk to your family, talk to her family, and let them know exactly why you are kicking her ass to the curb. In closing, gents, the only thing I can tell you is that you got to put some self-respect on your name. A lot of guys will go out here and continuously try to be with women who do not love them. Gents, don't put yourself in that situation. Learn to have enough respect for yourself to be able to walk away. Because as you can see, this guy is young. He doesn't even need to be thinking like this. So it's time to man up, my friend, and do what you need to do. Go ahead and get that process started. Because you did nothing, she did everything. Just remember that. Until next time, gents, I'm out. Peace.